What's up YouTube, AK Aquatics here. I just uh, I wanted to get a video going on this aquaponics setup. I haven't really done a breakdown and a how-to on how I've done this, but uh, this thing is pretty amazing really. But yeah, I want to get into it here and let you know what I did to set this up and what all it has going on with it. But Basically, I just got a two and a half foot planter box the rectangular ones from uh, Fred Myers, but they have them at Home Depot and Lowe's and all over the place, really, Walmart. But you really want to look for the ones with the grommets in the bottom of it. Um, reason being is this is kind of a flood drain setup with this one. And I use those grommets just to install two drain tubes to maintain water height. You can't really see it, but there's a little, uh, I think it's a 3 8 inside diameter tube that I got shoved down in there and I bring it right up to the level of the biomedia which I have 15 liters of matrix in this thing as well so it's kind of a combination overhead sump and a aquaponics setup all in one but I run filter floss and then I got a huge bag of purigen underneath this about a liter bag of purigen down there so it works out pretty sweet, but over here on this side, I just drilled a hole through the planter and ran a tube down into the tank, which I have a submersible sump or submersible pump running down there. It's about 200 gallons per hour. I was running just a 50 gallon per hour one, but I upgraded. I was, was having issues with it, just plugging up and not having enough strength to re. Um, prime after I did a water change so this eliminated that but yeah I'm growing pothos in here I got basically two pothos plants there's one on the left side here and then one that I recently planted on the right side after the move because it got uh, damaged and killed off a lot of the plant from it getting frozen but over here I planted two sweet potatoes and about three weeks ago and you can see these things are about three feet tall they went from a just a potato to this huge plant in three weeks and uh, I also put some poblano chili um, seeds in there just like yesterday and also some Roma tomato seeds so those should be coming up soon, but you can grow anything in this. It's just amazing how quick things grow. I mean, those sweet potatoes are a prime example. I've, I've never seen nothing grow like that ever so fast. So it's obviously working quite well. I got a 6,500K, um, 6,500 bloom and 36 inch beams works. Pent LED on this. And uh, it comes with the two settings, the low and the high. But I pretty much run it on high all the time until later at night and I'll turn down low when I wanna watch TV or whatnot. But yeah, this is a real easy thing to do. One thing I did, other than just set up what I had told you before, is I added some zip ties here going across and then running through to the other side of the planter box to give it some more rigidity for the weight of the water because this thing holds about I want to say about six gallons of water when it's it's full just to the top of the zip tie so uh, there's quite a bit of weight I mean there's probably 10 pounds of substrate and then 30 pounds of water or so or even 40 pounds of water but on a 125 it spans, you can see here where it spans the cross brace and then it's just sitting on the back. I'll show you here on the side. And another thing I did to upgrade this thing was I drilled a tiny hole and put an airline tubing coming out in the bottom of this. And what that does, it just basically cycles all the water instead of it just skimming off of the top. It uh, constantly drains water so it's basically cycling the entire volume of water through the planter setup. 
so there's no build up inside. I noticed before when it was just straining off of the top that there was a lot of particles inside of the planter box because it wasn't pulling from the bottom but that's completely eliminated now. And this has really boosted my filtration ability immensely not to mention all of the biomedia but these plants are consuming a ton of ammonia and nitrate. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a breakdown of what I got going on with this aquaponics setup and it's allowed me to, I could do water changes once every two weeks. Um, before I was running 50 fish in this tank and the parts per million on the nitrates were around 35 at the end of two weeks without a water change. So it's immensely helpful and I highly recommend it. But yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.